It's time for Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock. Believe me when I say we have a difficult time ahead of us. But if we are to be prepared for it, we must first shed our fear of it. I stand here without fear because I remember. I remember that I am here not because of the path that lies before me, but because of the path that lies behind me. I remember that for 100 years we have fought these machines. And after a century of war, I remember that which matters most. We are still here! Yeah, 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 Thunderstruck here on Declare Your Independence of Me, Ernest Hancock. Oh, we're not afraid, we're not afraid, but we are uh, not totally well. I'm still, I'm, I got about a day left before I'm back to full speed. Hey, you can almost uh, understand me now. I'm getting better. Well, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll talk about that later because I got a special guest on that I had by special request of Sierra, the producer, to go ahead and get him on today because I had an interesting question that was uh, brought to me yesterday and I wanted to, you know, do some research on this. And it was an interesting side effect of what's happening in real estate. That's something that I did not anticipate. Think about this. <clears throat> in The early 90s, I remember, I think it was 60 Minutes, did a big uh, story on after the SNL scandal went through and the banking thing that was going on then, and we had the bailout and Resolution Trust, RTC, uh, Resolution Trust Corporation, and it was another, you know, the dry run of how they're going to take all your money, make it their money back then, and they, you know, kind of perfected it and got their Remix all set up and everything. They're doing it again on, uh, you know, big time now. The side effect was this. As they started doing uh, all these developments and so on, the speculative building, and they just get the money, you know, here comes the money, and they start building all these big developments, what they do is they also have requirements, this new thing called homeowners associations. And they keep getting more and more required. Uh, Here in Arizona, oftentimes in development, the city will require that you have a homeowners association in order to turn over, you know, various services to and so on. Now, this is what's going on. In Florida, you'll have the same thing that's going on here in California and Arizona and Nevada and so on. You know, a lot of the uh, boom states that had big real estate bubbles. You will have purchased homes that would be, oh, you know, half a million, and now they're worth half of that. So you're way underwater. You're in a homeowners association, whether it's a condo or even just a a single-family home. And what's happening is that the way each one has their own contracts, but a lot of times the cost of living there is divided up amongst the homeowners that occupy So what happens when you have, let's say, 100 homes? Well, if 50, and you got, you know, uh, homeowner association fees of $1,000. That covers all your goodies, and you got the nice palm trees and your beach and all kinds of whatever. $1,000. Half of the people foreclose, move, leave, whatever, well, then they just divvy it up who's left. Now it's $2,000. It gets to the point, even if you wanted to keep paying the mortgage on your home there, the homeowner association fees, it'll get to a point. And once this starts, it's exponential. It'll get to where people, they can't afford to make their mortgage. They can't afford to pay their homeowner association fees. You know, all of a sudden there's uh, the one last guy standing and he's got the full bill. At what point does this implode? Well, it's already happening. It's happening way more than I anticipated. So, I brought back, you know, uh, a guest that we've had a couple of times on, uh, Stuart Veneer. Now, he's with Wilshire Holding. Now, RealtyCrisis.com. And I wanted to get with Stuart and him explain to us what he does. And we're going to get right to it on this question. Now, Stuart, I got you there? Yes, you do, Ernest. Stuart, you you understand uh, the problem as I've described it, right? Yes, it's a terrible problem. Well, let's go ahead, and I want to just summarize real quick. We got like uh, three or four minutes in this first segment. Go ahead and summarize what it is that your company does. 
Well, what we do is we help people make a strategic exit from over-encumbered property if they've made the decision that they must get out and that they have to get out of the property. Uh, we take ownership to the property. We then deal with the bank, and we do allow the people to continue to live there as our house sitters at no rent, but it gives them a chance to really get a second chance to get back on their feet. Uh, much better exit strategy than us being uh, than, than having them uh, foreclose and walk away themselves. Okay, now let's go ahead. <clears throat> as I remember it, I'm going to summarize it real quick, and you correct me where I'm wrong here. I am upside down in my mortgage. I, I can't, I won't, I don't want to, I'm not able to, whatever. I am not going to be able to make the mortgage payment. I go to your company and I say, you know, for the low, 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 rock bottom, rip you off price of one, two months uh, mortgage payment or whatever, you know, for a couple thousand dollars here, I do a quit claim. It goes down, you do the paperwork, unlike the banks, you actually do the paperwork. You do the oh, yeah. paperwork at the county recorder's office, and now it becomes your property. Any financial institution now has to deal with you, not me. I'm not the guy. Talk talk to Stuart, okay? Yes. Now, yes, and basically in certain states, there are very strong anti-deficiency laws in Arizona, California, certain states where they have no recourse to the uh, owner of the property, and they have no choice but to deal with us. Uh, is that true in Florida in this particular situation? Uh, Florida is a little unique where the property is secured by a note as well as a mortgage. And when they foreclose on the mortgage, they do not get a judgment against the individual person. And the paperwork is so faulty, I haven't seen one instance of a bank trying to seek a deficiency in Florida, not in five years. Okay. So you would go to someone in Florida. He says, hey, man, I got this condo, this house, this homeowner associated, whatever. And I go, I'm, I'm out of here. Now, there's two things. Either they can or cannot occupy it after they do it. Now, a lot, what you offer a lot of people is that you take on the paperwork, and then they still are able to live in the house while they're going through the foreclosure procedure for one, two, three years forever. Yes. Well, we want the property taken care of. When, what we don't want is this vandalized property, uh, deteriorated property. That creates other issues. And uh, I wouldn't be very happy for the people to stay there and to take care of the property. And if they want to move, that's fine. Just let us know so we can watch over the property. We don't want to let it get uh, vandalized and destroyed. Now, let's go ahead and explain to the people real quick how it is that you benefit from this. What what is Why would you want to take on a property that's underwater? How, how do you benefit from this? How is your corporation uh, uh, able to do this even? That's a good question. Basically, we don't make a lot of money. The only money we make is a small fee that we charge, which is typically about one payment. And we do a lot of work for that. And then we force the bank to take a loss, where it's especially important in many cases where someone has refied their property and they pulled money out for other purposes than home improvement or any property that is not one's primary residence. When the bank takes that write-off, uh, that's going to create taxable income in the form of debt relief. They are required by federal law to send the 1099-C or A for cancellation of debt. And uh, by us buying it for the full amount of the debt, you can take that income as our corporate income. And in our corporation, we everything we do is short-term, and we can offset that with real estate losses. So it's a, a, a mechanism by which you are using your losses to offset whatever any potential gain, and they don't, you know, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, it's a wash, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. So this is, I, I can see this, this is this is a rescue line for a lot of people, and I would imagine you're getting busier. We're very busy. Uh, you brought up a very interesting scenario, though, when you were talking about condominiums and associations. Okay, now we're, we're running up against a break here, and I want to get right to that specific point, because we've had you on a couple times before. I, I, I understood what your service is, and it, it's a great idea for people in this particular situation, but I was thrown a curve with the concept of having a condominium that all of a sudden, whether they could even pay the mortgage or not, all of a sudden they got these homeowner associations fees that are just escalating out of out of sight what do we do then well when we come back we're going to be finishing this up with Stuart Stuart veneer from realtycrisis.com that deals with exactly this type of problem to help people that need it you guys pay attention you're going to need this information we'll be right back here on declare your independence with me Ernest Hancock and Stuart veneer just a little bit 
uncovering the secrets and exposing the lies. That's what readers of freedomsphoenix.com get every day. Readers of freedomsphoenix.com are constantly provided the information that detail the real news between the lines of propaganda about government policies and the true relationship we all have with coercive governments. Learn the true condition of our economy, innovations and technological breakthroughs in energy, health, computer science, and space travel. Learn the truth well before it's admitted to in the lamestream media, the media that is so last century. Corporate media has evolved into nothing more than distributors of government propaganda, but we now have a fantastic alternative. FreedomsPhoenix.com provides constant news updates on the issues that affect our lives in the most important ways. Our liberty and our property are under constant attack, and FreedomsPhoenix.com provides the understanding behind the propaganda while encouraging the participation of our readers. Join us at FreedomsPhoenix.com. That's Freedoms with an S, Phoenix.com. FreedomsPhoenix.com, where the revolution between the ears has already matured. Toured.